Well, good afternoon, our beloveds. We're just coming in for a quick check-in. Much has shifted in May, and you are now firmly walking in June. How does it feel? Better, worse, lighter, heavier? How does your mind feel? How does your heart feel? How do your feet feel? Have you ever really given much thought to your feet? Do you notice that when things are going well, you have a lightness, a spring, a jump in your feet? And when things are a bit heavier, there's a density, a difficulty almost, in moving your feet forward. Your feet, which are the first body part to really move you forward as you walk, as you dance, as you jump, as you run, they are an indicator of the strength in the connection between the body, the mind, and the spirit. So tune in this weekend. Tune in to your feet and what they tell you about where you find yourself right now. Life is meant to be lived and lived fully. But many of you still are lost in the illusion that living means spending money, experiencing somewhat extravagant experiences, vacations, clothing, meals, vehicles, homes, things like that. Your identity and value is tied to the material objects. But what if you lived in a world without sight, where much of what you created had to be created in your inner world, in your inner eye, because the sighted world did not delight you or offer you any eye candy? How would you interact with the world? How would you step forward into the world? How would you appreciate or enjoy or even experience that which you can hear, touch, taste, feel, experience, and yet not see? How would you experience an elephant? How would you experience the exquisite blueness of a pansy? Or the kisses of a beloved as he was coming, or she was coming, or they were coming to bestow you with a kiss? What would that feel like? How would your feet feel? if you had to use your other senses to experience that which is around you. And so your idea of materialism would shift, not better, not worse, just shift. So maybe <clears throat> if you are sighted, if you are gifted or blessed with sight, Close your eyes and mind your P's and your Q's and your R's and your S's and your T's as you arrive as V would wish. For the Y of it all matters more as you get to the Z. Five.
find your answers. Find your solutions and the queries to the universe because that is where much resides. Not within your sighted world, but literally in all that remains unseen and for many still not experienced. Finding yourself is getting easier though these days for those of you who are querying us for the answers. And so it is. Namaste.